Hi everybody, Jonathan Scott here at home in Nairobi and still under lockdown, but Angie and I are well and we want to share with you some very exciting news because the 4th of December is World Cheetah Day and we're extremely proud to be patrons of the Cheetah Conservation Fund, CCF. And what we are going to do is we're going to create a World Cheetah Month. So from the 4th of December through to the end of the month, we're going to offer 20% off any of our cheetah prints on our fine art gallery. Go to our website, check them out, and there are some absolutely cracking shots there. And today, in this behind the scenes chat about our favorite cheetah photographs, we're going to just talk you through something about the character of those cheetahs because we would love you to have one of those cheetahs on your wall cheer yourself up over Christmas and know that you're doing something to help protect cheetahs in the wild, which is exactly what Cheetah Conservation Fund does. So let's just think a little bit about those prints that we've got to offer. Well, of course, first up in the open edition is Little Honey Cub Toto. I nearly boggled it there. So Honey the Cheetah, remember Big Cat Diary 2005? when we came across her with this one tiny little cub who became a legend, Toto. And there's this beautiful picture that Angie took of Toto just up on top of a termite mound, knee high to a grasshopper with the curl of honey's spotted and striped tail just sort of almost wrapped around him. And then there is another picture in the open edition. And remember, 20% off any sales between the 4th and December and the end of the month and that 10% of the proceeds of those sales will go towards supporting the Cheetah Conservation Fund. And so the other picture of Honey is her on a termite mound. These are all Angie's pictures. I mean, you know, I can chat. She can take pictures. And this was down on Paradise Plain. And there was Honey one morning sitting up on a termite mound, just looking around as the sun came up. So she's in silhouette, but it echoes that majesty that sense of excitement that the big cats bring to our lives. Mind you, if it's a lion trying to get into your cattle bone, well, that's not so funny. But we're talking cheetahs. And they very rarely, certainly around the Mara, ever get into any kind of trouble with taking livestock. Now, I've got my crib notes here because I tell you, there's a lot to tell you about. And I'm going to now tell you about another of our open edition prints. Remember, all of them for the month of December, from the 4th to the 31st, are going to be reduced by 20% for you. And so we've also got another fantastic character of Big Cat Diary. Two prints of Shakira with her cubs. Now Shakira was Big Cat Live 2008, and what a mum. She had six cubs to begin with, and in Angie's beautiful picture of her, sat up on, well, crouched almost, hunkered down on a termite mound with five of her surviving cubs. She had six. By the time we started filming, five. And the cubs all nestled up to mum there. And it's a beautiful picture. Again, one of my favorites. And then we have Shakira. And let me just give you the names of some of these prints. So uh, Honey and Toto. Uh, Toto the legend, because of course he was, just captured the hearts of millions of people who watched Big Cat Diary 2005. Then we had Shadows and Sunset. That is honey on a termite mound. Beautiful picture. Just very simple, but just echoes that sense of Africa. And then with Shakira, two photographs. Shakira and Cubs, and that's the one I just described with her on the termite mound. And then Afternoon Playtime. And this is a lovely picture, black and white, uh, that Angie took, again, of course, of Shakira with two cubs, one just riding up onto her back, the other one looking out across, you know, trying to play with her. And she, of course, trying to keep her attention on the main issues, which is food and staying out of trouble. And Shakira raised three of those six cubs, three girls, to maturity. Just a great mum. And what a dancing queen. So that is all within the, oh, then, thrill of the hunt. Again, another fantastic cheetah image. Uh, in our open edition, and this is Kike belting across the ground. Angie with a 500 mil lens, just panning to capture the action, 2 50th of a second. So she took it at a relatively slow shutter speed. If you're trying to take pictures of cheetahs, you know, and they're going flat out and you want sharp shots, 
thousandths of a second, two thousandths of a second, but Angie wanted to create this sense of motion. That 60 to 70, 65 mile an hour, 100 kilometers an hour burst across the plains. Kike, who famously crapped on my head in 2003 on Big Cat Week. So it's her after Thompson's Gazelle. Did she get it? You bet your life did, she did. And the movement you feel, the sense of power and speed, it captures everything that I love about cheetahs. So again, what have we got now? We've, so we've got Kike after Thompson Gazelle, the thrill of the hunt. We've, oh, again, another Shakira shot. I forgot about this one. In 2004, we found Shakira and we just called her Duma's mum because she had a little cub, a single cub, and we thought, what a great story for Big Cat Diary. But in fact, or Big Cat Week, but in fact, at that time, we were already following Kike's cubs on their journey to independence. So we had to abandon that story. But there is a beautiful opportunity. And of course, Angie was taking the stills pictures. She was the production stills photographer for Big Cat Diary all of those years and an ace cheetah spotter. And she got a beautiful portrait of Shakira and Duma, a female cub that grew up to independence and again, which we followed in Big Cat Diary. But that's a beautiful picture. And that one is called Duma and Shakira, a mother's love. So you've got Honey, you've got on a silhouette, you've got Toto, the legend, you've got Shakira, afternoon playtime, and of her with her cubs on a termite mound. You've got Shakira with Duma. I mean, you are spoiled for choice. And 20% off of any of our fine art cheetah prints in, what have we called it? World Cheetah Month. So special 20% off any of our cheetah pictures on our fine art gallery. Check them out. Check the open edition and then also check the limited edition. There's a couple of cheetah prints in our limited editions and I'm going to tell you a little bit about them later because I'm almost out of time. But just enough to say, remember 4th of December is World Cheetah Day. And we want to celebrate World Cheetah Month by extending this 20% sale offer through the month of December. 10% of the profits will benefit the Cheetah Conservation Fund, the wonderful Laurie Markers initiative in Namibia, which actually reaches out to try and protect cheetahs around the world, especially now those cheetah cubs stolen from Africa for the illegal trade of cheetah cubs to the Middle East where they're kept as exotic pets. No, no, no. So money, 10% of funds raised in World Cheetah Month is going to go towards supporting Cheetah Case Conservation Fund, of which we are very proud to be ambassadors. Have a great day, and I will be back shortly to tell you more about our fine art prints. Okay, stay safe and have a wonderful Christmas. Bye-bye.